pre-algebra students. I know you're getting ready to take your quiz, but just as a really quick review so you know what to do, uh, making this just quick little message for you. First of all, um, I hope you're having a good day. I really miss you all and I'd love to see you. I'm proud of you. I've gotten contact from a couple of you and uh, I just, we're going to get through this. You just need to stay strong and um, we'll just all do our best. And that's really what we can ask of you. So I'm looking forward to seeing these quizzes that you're going to click on and do. What I would suggest is have a piece of paper handy. Do show your steps. Do have your work right there in front of you so that in case you find that the answer you're looking for is not one of the choices or if it's a write in your answer type of a scenario, you can actually do that. Now, in the word problems, it will tell you to define a variable, write an equation, and solve it. Some of the things you will be able to type in in some way, shape, or form, I will be looking at those, and once you submit it, I'll be evaluating what I see, and then I will release your grade. Once your grade is released, it is going to show as being out of 109 because there's a bonus question on it. But actually, it's out of 100, so those nine points above would actually be uh, bonus points if you get them. So, you know, you're going to do your best, and I'm expecting some really great grades. You guys have been working really hard lately, and I am really proud of you. You have really been setting the stage for doing well even before all this. So, good job. And um, I just want to go over a couple things with you. So first of all, when it says to define a variable, for example, on this problem here, twice a number less 29 is 19, it means that you have to actually do something like say n equals the number. Now you're not going to be writing it like I'm writing it right here. You'll type it in and then write an equation would be something like 2n minus 29 equals 19. So you would be able to type in something like that on the line, and that would be something that I'm going to be evaluating, can you do? The next thing that you would do is you would go ahead and solve the problem. This part you will not be showing. However, in order to find the right answer, you really need to be in the habit of showing your work. So you're doing that for yourself. So just please make sure that you're doing that. So. Um, when you go through and you find your correct answer, there will be some multiple choice questions and the multiple choice answers that are on there, one of them will match your correct answer. So please make sure that you're showing your work, make sure that you have them. Quizzes down the road, I might do something else to make sure that you're showing your work and asking different kinds of questions. But for right now, that's what the expectation is. The other part of your, your quiz, except for the word problems, deals with the idea of circles and circumference and radius and diameter. So for example, <clears throat> if it says that the radius is eight centimeters, just to remind you, in case you forgot, that means from the middle to the outside is eight. And the diameter is all the way across, so you would have 8 times to 16, so your answer would be 16. There may be some decimals in there to multiply, so you're just going to do your work as carefully as possible on that. Or you might have the reverse scenario where you're given the diameter, which is all the way across, and you have to find the radius. So if you're given the diameter and you need to find the radius, don't forget that you need to divide that by two. And I know you guys, this might, you know, you're really smart with those things. So this is just to jog your mind in case you haven't really had much time to study. All right, so if you have a radius and you're supposed to find the circumference, or if you have a diameter and you're supposed to find the circumference, don't forget your formulas. Your formulas for circumference are pi times d or two pi r. So depending on which one you have is which one you're going to use. So this first one where the radius is 9, you would use this one. 
circumference is 2 pi times 9. Don't forget that pi can be abbreviated as 3.14, or not abbreviated, but you can use approximately 3.14. So for this one, what I would do is I'd do the 2 times 9 first, because that's easier. And then I'd multiply times 3.14. So I'd do 3.14 times 18, uh, 32, 11, carry, you guys are faster than this with me, 24, 25. And then we put in our placeholder, 4, 1, 3. And then there, your decimal point moves over two places. <clears throat> and so your answer for this one would be 56.52 of whatever unit your radius was in. So 56.52, because you move your decimal over twice, please be careful with decimal places, be careful with your multiplying. Um, to make sure that you're getting the right answer. Use your estimating skills, okay? So if I'm using my estimating skills, this is about three times 20, so about 60. Yeah, that's pretty close to what I got. So, you know, you're using all of these different skills that you have. This one, the diameter, two and three fifths. So you would use your diameter circumference formula, pi times now, in this case, since we have a fraction, you're probably going to want to use your fractional value for pi. 2 and 3 fifths, remember 2 times 5, 10, so we have about 13 fifths here. 22 sevenths is another abbreviation for pi. This one would come all the way out. There's nothing that cancels out, unfortunately. I picked a bad example, but 35. 22 times 13, we get 6, we get 6, we get 2, we get 2, we do our normal adding. Now this answer, you could actually put it in the form of a decimal or you could put it in the form of a fraction. So I'm not telling you exactly what form the multiple choice answer would be in, but make sure that you can do either on that. So if I need a little bit more space, I'm just going to come up here and do 286 divided by 35. We can kind of estimate about how many times that's going to go in. Uh, let's try eight and see if that's enough. 28, that's pretty close. So you could do 8 and 6 35ths, which also doesn't reduce. Um, the answer might be in that format, or you could do the decimal thing where you add decimal points, and you might go out a couple decimal points until the answers start matching up. So here's 135, we can subtract. We can bring down a zero if we needed to and go on to find the best possible answer for this. I'm gonna say this one's probably a seven. Okay, so it's about 8.17, so it's approximately equal to 8.17 or exactly equal to the mixed number that I said a minute ago. Uh, so what you're going to do, it was 35, uh, 8 and 6 35ths. So you'll go through, you'll take your, your quiz, you're going to put in all your answers, you'll submit it, and then I will look at it, I will release the numbers to you and you'll get a chance to see them later. When you receive the email, if you're on a PC or on some smart, some phones, there will be a little link that says view 
and you'll be able to see any notes that I write to you, any corrections and the correct answers. Some smartphones though, what I found is that the little word that says view you're supposed to click on is not coming through on the return emails. However, there's a lot of blank white space. And what I found on my phone is I started randomly clicking on the bottom in the white space. And lo and behold, the link was actually there and you can actually go and see your answers. So persevere a little bit as far as seeing that. And if you are not able to, to find the right spot on your phone to click, you can always check it out on a PC uh, or just or you can let me know that you're having difficulties with that. But the link is actually in there. I have no control over how that goes. Um, it's one of the things that maybe maybe Google will fix it soon, but I just appreciate that there is this platform that we're able to use. So we're going to use it as best we can. Thank you so much. I miss you all. And um, I'm just believing that God's going to help you all. Please hold on to the things that God gave you during your spiritual emphasis week. Just continue to support each other and I will see you when I see you.